Hello everybody, Kinja427 here with some Heroes of Hammerwatch. Now, I would be playing to see, except, unfortunately, the, I physically cannot open the app. So we're just getting right back into the th swing of things with a secret passage right here with reinforced gloves. And one potion charge. Oh yeah, that's right, I got... I almost forgot that I added the really fast enemies thing. Thought it would be useless, but... The prison's always been my favorite and least favorite area. Favorite because I really like the, uh, the whole prison button system. Least favorite because of the skeletons. So, I just opened up a hole in the wall for a, uh, just bonus room. And see what happens if I do nothing. So, just got the Apothecary Sphere. And because I already had an Apothecary item, I got the uh, set bonus for one extra potion charge. Really useful. So, just as a review for those who have not seen the last episode, I have a lifestone, a uh, wand of spell piercing for uh, magical damage, the gladiator's net for disarming enemies. Broadsword for more damage, Enchanted Dirk, more damage, Markham's Purse, more gold, Old, um, Ring of Rejuvenation, Health Regen, Great Armor, or Great Helm, Armor, um, everything is pretty self-explanatory. Provides a passive block of 50 physical damage with a cooldown of 5 seconds. Which is very handy, considering I only have 55 health. So the good thing about melee enemies is that as long as you keep moving, they never should be able to hit. They should never hit you, so because you because they take time to attack. So you should always be able to move away. Is enemies stand still when attacking. Oh, the glass box apparently works in this area too. So uh, for some cells, I don't even need the the key. I can just walk around them. So, take that, doors. And I still need them for some areas, but not here. And, cool, I just leveled up. So what the blueprints allow me to do is craft items and upgrade them with the magic anvil. Which I'm not going to use until this character gets to area 3, because that's where you find it. Or at the very least, that's where I found it my first time. And only time. So, 
so. Yeah. There. There's not really much else to say, except I'm still looking for that button. It's like, do I even need it? I don't even think I need the button. There's only one cell seem to have loot in it. And that's why I go for the uh, s for the button anyway. Yeah. Literally no reason for you to even look for the button. Oh, without out of the way. Immediately I see the Shady Outcast Merchant, so I'm going to hope I can get there. So, you may have seen right there that I took two hits, one from each of those skeletons. The first one was blocked with my uh, bracers, but the second one was not, so I took 0 and 30 damage. I just got destroyed. Well, new run. I'm going to once again go for the glass walks and do the enemy reinforcements and elite reinforcements. And let's hear, what else do I want? Enemy Overseers. And... I think I might want to go for the... Plentiful Gifts. And... Here's a little combo. Lousy and Exceptional Consumables. And... Lethal Traps. But since I'm going to be dodging most of them, I'm also going to get expanded floors. Here we go. This is my loadout. And since I leveled up, I can go up here to the guild. Talk to this guy to get the meteor shower. This evokes three meteors to strike the ground around the wizard. Which... And I activate this one by pressing E. So yeah, they deal large amounts of damage, and I'm just seeing where they always if they land predictably. Okay, so they always land there, there, and there. So pretty good cut. Pretty good coverage. Let me talk to the smith to upgrade my armor. And go back. Once I go to the shop, which I almost forgot to do. So I have enough money, I'm going to sell two ore. And go in. Curios box and curios case. And I'm going to sell one more item just so I can, or one more ore just so I can get the final item. And so I can get a silver key and a bronze key. 
The silver key is just for the area one secret chest. And in we go. So what? Sure. Can you think of the best way to use the meteor strike? Ooh, that's an important thing. I cannot move when doing the meteor strike. Meaning, I want to do it, for instance, here, where I could take that spawner out. Is it still does massive damage, but I can't move. Hmm. So here, I can use it to take out a few of those enemies up there. Up here. So the reason that lousy and exceptional consumables are such a good combo is one increase is exceptional consumables increases effectiveness by 500%, but lousy decreases it by 50%. So they're quint they're going up by five times, but also being divided to two, giving a net increase of that 250% or if you look at it a different way 100 sure if I showed what Curio's case does, but it's essentially a better version of Curio's box. And the apothecary's herbs essentially let you drink your potion and then move faster. So over here on the items I can see that I've got three common and one uncommon. In items so uh, hopefully I can get a blue rare item so uh, the uh, lethal traps also are in effect here and I triggered that because I was stupid. Once I get, once I beat the prison area, I think I'm going to get the lockup thing because I'm just going to take the portal through. I'm just having a hard time figuring out the best situation to use this ability in. Because with the sorcerer class, and it's it. 
it's tier, it's final ability. Yeah. Maybe that's when you use it, when you're hiding behind a rock. But as I was saying, it's final ability lets you shoot out a you know, giant ice ball that flings ice everywhere, dealing a lot of damage. So, real quick, I just want to give a shout out to everyone who's helped my channel grow so far, and well, while I really appreciate you guys, I have just one small favor. Please spread the word. And, like, don't force someone to watch it, but if you know someone who plays a game that you've seen on this channel, just please do me a favor and tell them about it. And also, like, share, all that stuff. Subscribe if you haven't. Oh, here's an interesting thing. The glass walks does not affect this trap. Well, with that being said, I think I'm actually going to end this here. So, yeah. See you guys in the next video. Bye.